Today we're foraging in the tide pools for lunch. We're going to be doing some fishing and we're going to be doing some foraging for sea creatures to bring back to our hotel and cook up for a great lunch. Oh! Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah, you got a keeper! Holy shit! Again. <laughs> Show Sam that one. Tequila. Alright, now that I'm at my spot, I'm gonna take out my Hayskipper travel rod here. This thing, if you guys don't know already, nine foot two, five pieces long. I can travel anywhere in the world I want. Catch any fish that I want. It's just so awesome to be able to travel with such a lightweight rod. And the thing with this rod is I made sure that it's completely covered in carbon fiber. So it's lightweight, really strong, really sensitive, and easy to assemble. But when you're assembling it, make sure you don't push it too hard together. Just a gentle push. Make sure it's snug, but not too snug. See, just like that, it's good. There we go. It's a really nice and long rod, really sensitive, Lightweight, the hay skipper rod. Now I got my 5,000 size twin power. This is perfect combination for travel. All right, I'm all set up. I have a mini sure catch rig, which is essentially just a free line. We sell these already pre-tied. All you gotta do is just tie it onto your line. I put a little split shot on here and I'm gonna poke around these holes, see if I can find any fish in them. But our main objective today we're going to forage the area, we're going to try and catch as many fish and as many sea creatures as we can to try and feed the family. And I've got two awesome crew members today. My sister's boyfriend, Andres, and my cousin Daniel. You guys know him as Danny Boy. You have seen him in our old videos. Look at him now. He's a big grown boy. Look at him. Flex, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's get fishing. Let's have a good day. Daniel, I'm going to go up onto these rocks over here. Sun gazing. Fish number one. Hey, there's fish here. Come here. This is good, but it's a little small. I'm gonna let this first one go. First fish. Beautiful, but a little bit too small. Tiny one. That's crazy looking. Oh no, don't don't start twisting. 
No, no! No! Holy shit, chill out. Yeah, it bit me. That hurt. We're good. It kind of hurt, but it's not that bad. It's just a flesh wound. Come here, there's so many fish. Come here, there's so many fish. There's a lot of fish here. But they're small. Whoa! That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Keeper. Yeah. Nice one. Andres, you're gonna catch the next fish here. Thanks for the bucket, man. Yeah. All right, first keeper. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you're up. I'm gonna All show right. you how to get this fish. Ugh. It's a nice rock here. Nice here, yeah. It's a nice rock. You see that rock right there, right here? Yeah. You see how the, the current is pushing through here. Uh -huh. There's a shitload of fish right under this rock. So we're gonna put a little piece of shrimp on here. And look, this is called opening the bale, okay? Open the bale. You can even like, look, hold the line like this. Uh -huh. Wait for the current to settle down for a second. You see it's going crazy right now. You don't wanna put it in right now. Wait. Okay, now. All right. So now it's, so now it's down there, it's going down. Hold this rod. When I say set the hook, just go like that. Jerk it up, okay? Oh, there we go. I got Reel it, reel it, reel it. Yeah! yeah! Look at that. There we go. That's your first one. First fish. You see, you you, you felt it like tap, tap, yeah, tap, right? Yeah, yeah. Very noticeable. Sometimes it's such a huge fish that it'll just snap you right away. Uh-huh. These spikes will spike you, but you want to push it like so, like this, so it won't spike you. So look, make like an O with your finger. There. There you go. That's how you hold it. Throw them, yeah? Now just throw them back in, yeah. No. Bring it back in this hole. Bring, bring it back, back in this hole. You want to fish just this hole. Damn, that eel bite hurt. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Gently, gently. Holy shit. All right, it's getting wild. There you go. All right, so I basically, I grab them like down, right? So like, just kind of glide down uh -huh. and then grab. Oh shit. Just go, just go, look. There you go, see? He's definitely got me a little bit, but it's all right. There we go. Daniel, just sit on your butt and then just slide down if you need to. We're okay. Did you ever like suck the poison out you felt? I did that. That's what I was doing. I sucked the shit out of it as soon as I got bitten. So we got three rods. Andres has got this uh, dip rod, the cane pole. Daniel's got a little tiny pole. I've got my hay skipper rod. We're going to hit this rock right here. I think that there's a nice deep hole right there, so we're gonna try and find some fish there. And uh, yeah, I got a bag full of shrimp and crabs. Let's see what we get. All right, we gotta get over there, that's our spot. Wait for the water to clear up before you start walking. All right, there's a ton of fish right here. All right. So I would just drip it in here. Ooh, I'm getting bites already. They're tearing it up. Oh shit. Yep, just dip it right down here. Dip it down now, dip it down now. 
but under this rock that we're standing on, probably a lot of fish. Okay. Every so often, pick that tip up. Oh, he got one. Oh, dude. You got a nice one, dude. Yeah, you got a keeper. Dude, that's a nice one. Bring it up here. Dude, that's a freaking nice one, man. Good job. Wait, bring it here, bring it here. Swing it here. Don't lose him, don't lose him. Yeah. Good job. All right, I'm scared of you, big guy. I'm not gonna let you know that. Don't tell him that. He gonna bite you. Yep, yep, there you go, you got it. There you go, you got it. Nice, Daniel! Nice. Good job, Daniel. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, I'm on! Yeah! I saw him come out and smack that. Oh! It took my whole freaking bait. It took my everything. Hey, make sure that tip is all the way out. Oh, Whoa, shit, hell no. No, it's on, it's, it's gonna stay on, pick it up. Oh my. Oh my God, I do not wanna get bitten by this one. Holy crap. All right, let's eat, let's eat him. You wanna eat him? Damn, he's ugly. I'm not touching that shit. I already learned my lesson. So we're gonna walk across here and we're gonna climb this and go up to where Daniel is. I'm good. Right there, I, I was fishing in there in that hole yesterday. I caught a lot of small ones. Uh, okay. Daniel caught a small one in that hole. Yeah, I was thinking about this, but I was wondering if I'm just gonna get eels if I dip in there. I think so. You know, you know why? They like to hide by the wash right here because the crabs that hang on the side of the rocks, yeah. when the waves hit that and the crabs go in the water, that's, that's their meal. Here, there's not enough waves to knock the crabs in the water. So oh. they're not waiting there to ambush. They're waiting there to ambush because the crabs are getting hit by the waves. So that's why we were hitting them all along here, because there was so much wash right here. The crabs are getting washed back there? Yeah, right here, where the sea urchins were, where we were fishing. Uh -huh. That's why it's such a good spot. Oh, yeah. This is a good spot, but it's hard because it's, the current is so crazy. You have a brief moment to really have your bait in one place uh -huh. before the current starts taking it like crazy. Yeah. So this is a beautiful spot, but it's a really challenging spot to fish. You got one? Yeah! Nice job! He got him out. Hell yeah, dude. Here. Pliers, go ahead, you got him. You're taking him off, I'm not taking him off. Don't lose those pliers, these are really expensive pliers. Oh, Andre, you suck? Damn. Yeah, just please just be careful. If you fall, you're gonna die, you know? You won't live. You don't have to swim. You gotta. You, it's just gonna be, don't don't fall, okay? You guys going up here? Thinking about it. What we really wanna find is like a calm spot right next to a, a really like crazy spot because that's where the fish are hiding to like get a little bit of relief from the, the current. Whoa, holy shit! A huge one, that was a dude. I had a huge one on mine. We were tangled up. 
Damn it! There's fish in there. That was a big ass one, dude. It was like this big, right? Damn it. At least you got one. It's really slippery. Shit, that thing was like the biggest one of the day. Can you excuse me? I'm gonna I'm gonna walk on top of that rock over there. Look at this beautiful fish. Mexican hogfish, look at that. This is amazing. It's gonna be so tasty. A hogfish. This is beautiful. Ugh. This is gonna be so tasty. Wow, look at those teeth. What a unique looking fish. There's a really good spot up here if you guys wanna try up here. See, now is the perfect time to be fishing it. When it's calm like this, before it starts sucking, look, now it's bad. Big one. Pull them on. Here, reel it in. That's a small one. Kind of small, yeah. but they're so freaking strong though. Holy shit, guys! Look at this one. Big boy. A big hogfish. Can hear you guys. Ah! Ah! The thing was this big. Yeah, I saw its tail. All right, let's go. We'll, we'll have to come back. I should have just flipped it up. God damn it. That thing was like this big. You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw its tail. Golly. So we noticed there's a lot of sea urchins in the spots that we're fishing. And I know people love to eat sea urchins. In fact, in Japanese culture, it's called uni. I've had uni before in a Japanese restaurant before. It was $35 for one little piece. And it seems like there's an unlimited amount. Me and Daniel, we're gonna go try and catch some now. We've got gloves here that will protect us from the actual spikes of the uni. Because uni spikes, they're sharp, and when they go into your skin, they'll break off and infect you. So you don't want that to happen. That's why we got gloves. Let's go get some uni. Yeah, three keepers. Dude, the one that I got was like three times the size of this. Where are they? Bring the bucket, bring the bucket. I right here. Woo! You see any? Uh, ah, I'm getting washed! That one. 
<laughs> Holy shit, that wave is huge coming. Oh, big one. Nice, dude, that's a freaking huge one. Dude, freaking massive one. Look at this. Oh, there's a ton right there, dude. A ton. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I got the bucket. All right, let's just go. Let's just go. We're done. Sea grapes. Eat it. Umami. <laughs> Yum. We got a pretty nice haul. And if you were to try to buy these live from like a Japanese restaurant, I'm sure it's like going to be like $100 each one of these. There's a ton more in there, but we're just gonna leave them. We believe in sustainable harvesting. We don't wanna take too much out of the ocean, just enough for our family. So we're only gonna take this amount right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to open them up and eat them. Look at them move. They're so cool, huh? You ready? Damn. So we caught a ton of fish. This is a giant hawkfish. This is a Mexican hogfish. We caught a bunch of uni, sea urchins, and we're ready to go back, make some sushi. I think what we should do, slice it up. We're gonna make some nigiri, make some sushi, make some sashimi, and have some raw nigiri. Yes, let's, let's do it, guys. It. Take it back. First day I cut my legs up. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's still light. Yeah. Aaron, can I make you a Now this, this fish, the primary diet is crabs, crustaceans, and like uh, other little fish. So it's gonna taste kind of like crab meat. Ah, 
Very good. <laughs> Straight into the mouth. It looks like it's kind of like snapping. Yummy! I'm cha chaing in. Like some weird wow. Like, uh, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way it's going So this would be like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this part would be equivalent like to like a tenderloin here. This is more like um like a stomach area. This one tender ten, like this is what tender. would be a, like kind of like shoulder area. Oh, is, oh, is stomach fattier? Stomach is a little bit fattier, but this is such a lean fish that you're not gonna. I think you should enjoy the texture of it. cut this the beak out here first this is the beak and the spines they're sharp but they're not that sharp you want to take this whole beak out whoa See, that's, that? that's the beak right here this is beak? what it, this is what it eats out of what yeah that's like yeah. its mouth no no a couple of spoons in here uh -huh. this one doesn't have much this is a no i'm gonna throw this one away yeah It looks so good. This is really hard to take out. Hmm? This is really hard to take out. But e everything in here is edible. The ones that you get in the restaurant, they're not they're not coming out live. So mm -hmm. if you've had it before, this is not the same thing. The urchin man. Ocean oh, oh. man. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, those are two good pieces right there. Ooh, look at that beach color. All right, who's gonna try it first? This is, uh, I don't like uni, change my mind. Okay. Yeah, change my <laughs> mind. Yeah. I think it will change your mind. I don't like those. Don't let it, don't, don't swallow it so fast. Seriously. Keep it in your mouth a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Hold a sec. Hold oh. a sec. Well, so like, actually, really actually. My experience is that it tastes like, fishy. Sam's trying it. Sam's trying it. Sam's trying it. Sam's trying it yesterday. Mmm. This was a little saltier than yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this one's a different color than yesterday. Yeah. I feel like yesterday was more like this. Why do you need ketchup? No. Honestly. He's not bad. Stevie. Same as yesterday or different? It's different. It does. Tastes different. Don't be so fast, straight up. Feed me. Yeah, I know, right? Like, actually, yeah, I know. That one looks good. Slowly. Too slow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
淡淡地，淡淡地，甜甜地，少甜，都食緊魚蛋咁。Yeah, it's like it's like uh, put in. Oh my god, it's like an April Fool. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Salty, <laughs> custardy, sweet aftertaste. Okay. Okay. I liked it. I didn't hate it. No, he did not. Uh, like but this it? one was a lot saltier than the other one that I had. The one with the sub oh, okay. wasabi dot is called a hogfish. 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 Oh. It's a kind of a rare fish. Oh, this okay. one, everything else is going to be a hawkfish. 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 Got it, got it. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Too soft. Mmm. Little oh. gamey. Yeah. Kind of gelatinous. It is. Yeah. Kind of gelatinous. Is it kind of like clammy? Yeah. Kind of clammy, yeah. yeah. Not very fishy tasting. <laughs> This idea is not different from the other one. Thank you, Brandon. Good job, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you for catching and preparing this. I just caught one. I wouldn't have caught it. There would be no chance of me catching it if I weren't catching it. He's just saying that to make me feel better. You're just saying that to make me feel better. And he's just saying that to me. <laughs> it's good, but I don't like snapper that much. I like more of a fattier fish. Yeah. I like a fatty fish also. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like um. Oh, sorry. It's too chewy. Too chewy. I wouldn't mind just like cooking it up. You want to cook it? Put it in ramen for dinner. Mm. We could do that. Yeah. 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 Finish it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ramen. Yeah. We can put it in ramen. Like it you think it tastes better? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying. These are beautifully prepared. Very, very. I like it.